Hi guys, welcome back to uh, another unboxing video from Dailies. Looks like we have two boxes. As um, one delivery. So let's quickly check them out. So I've opened both boxes and here are our new trees and they look identical don't they same big leaves okay one is called uh, the golden emperor custard apple I've uh, never seen this custard apple self self fertile dwarfing habit prefers warmer climates okay well it's a new release so we'll see how we do with the uh, the golden emperor custard apple atemoya these are atemoyas both of them and this one with the extra large leaves look how big they are they're whoppers is a uh, Hillary white custard apple a strain of pink's mammoth so something between pink's mammoth and african pride i've never seen a pink's mammoth for sale i'd like to have one of those too i've seen them in in uh, far north queensland so and both of these custard apples are um grafted i believe yeah so there are two new members to the family i love um custard apple atemoya and these look like the they're um very healthy and um will fit right in here at the uh, um, fruitopia indeed right now i just have two custard apples this one here the um african pride i've had it for one year so it's very very young and i can smell the uh the flowers i'm not going to do any hand pollinating i tried that for the last 10 years on this uh cherry moya which is almost touching the um, atemoya and uh, i've had no success with hand pollinating so i just let these guys pollinate pollinate themselves at the end of summer that's when they self-pollinate that's just the way it is guys and i'm not gonna interfere with the process so as i was saying that's one of the custard apples that i have in the ground it's doing well it takes um um summer uh, sorry winter just fine here in melbourne it can take the cold okay and then so these are the new ones here oh i also got a fruit fly net from um um, dailies it says veggie net but it'll fit over uh, over um, um, a tree as well one of the smaller trees the other custard apple guys was this one here the Paxton prolific which I've had to which I've had for um, eight years yeah and it's finally shot up some height at uh, 2.2 meters so this one has done really well especially in the last uh, three years i should have had um at least three of these um originally but i didn't have the room i focused more on the um the white sapotes which do so 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 well here So that's the video 
another beautiful day in Melbourne late summer temperatures are cooling down although we're having a, a set of three days in a row of 35 Celsius coming up and uh, I'm gonna get watering now to uh, make sure all these guys stay hydrated thanks for watching and um, I'll probably put these in um, um, larger pots until further notice when there's a um, room available somewhere um, in the ground I might wait and plant them next year yeah room is running out here guys usually I'll wait for one of the sooks to die right and then I um, put a tree in there okay guys please like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and we'll see you from the next video